Hello everybody on YouTube, this is P1 in Calculus, or Gus Chavez, and welcome back to Balloons in Monkey City on the mobile. So today, as you can see, I finally have five farms. Uh, it's going to be very good, and let's see what we got. We got some a couple upgrades, you know, the balloon chippers and uh, the monkey subs. I don't have enough to research that. Um, I do not know what I expect to see in the contested territory, but let's go ahead and go into the contested territory right now. As you can see, those that was from the previous contested territory. Let's head on over to the new territory for the first time ever. Contested territory. Oh my gosh, I really wish I had those missiles. Uh, but it doesn't matter, water maps is cool. Let's do this, guys. Water maps. This is where farms are favored. In the water maps, of course. So we cannot use bomb shooters in this case, but we could use the super monkeys. All right. So how do I want to start this off? And eh, we can start it off with this guy. Eh, maybe some dart monkeys. And I really want to farm somewhere. Right. That's that's good enough. All right. Let's start it off. All right. So there we go. I'm gonna get that monkey sub upgraded. So here we go, for the first time ever, you guys are witnessing the contested territory live. So this is literally live, like literally I started recording the moment I started playing my contested territory for the first time. I have never done this ever in my recordings for contested territory. I normally do the territory and then I record the second try. But today, I feel like giving, you know, I feel like being... I feel like letting it be something special today. All right, so the cheapest form of lead popping power would be the boomerang. Got to get that bad boy upgraded. We need to upgrade him to, um, I don't know. There we go. So there we go. We have the boomerang. We do not have third tier farms yet. So that's, uh, that's not good. But we do have that cute little monkey sub down there. And I really wish I had those little missiles because they're going to be very important since my bomb shooters are not allowed in this map I will have to use these super monkeys and the monkey subs and engineers and apprentices to pop the moabs since I cannot use the bomb shooters alright so everything's looking great those pink balloons are oh oh gosh my gosh those pink balloons were, were getting a little bit nasty down there uh, but it's okay we upgraded the monkey sub and the dart monkeys and it's all good right now uh, no camo blooms yet. I really should just get a spike factory. Uh, or not. I don't know. I don't like that farm spot, to be honest with you guys. Oh. Yeah, I should just get a spike factory. Um, let's get a spike factory down there. Apparently, we cannot farm just yet. We're going to need a spike factory. So we do have lead popping power, which is great. And we do not have any camo detection. But now we do. Yeah, there's only camo reds. So that's not bad. So let's see if we can win this territory. So, so far I'm still undefeated in the contested territory. How, how far can I make it? I don't know. I don't really care about being undefeated or not. But I just want to play for fun, to be honest. And to record and show epic strategies. And we are still city level 20. So city level 20 is pretty long. I mean, uh, it's very long. So Just letting you guys know how city level 20 is like. It's, it's very long. Alright, everything's looking great. Uh, we need to get this guy upgraded to 1, 2, at least, or maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll upgrade that portion of the monkey sub, and we'll upgrade the boomerang. So, so far, the, the farming is not doing great. We're not doing great on our farming, guys. But that's okay. And it looks like we should be able to handle everything. And see, the, the cheapest form of lead popping power is the boomerang thrower. So now we're going to go for another 1-0 farm, our second one, in round 9. I don't know how far we can make it, but we're going to do it, guys. Let's see how far we can do this in this territory. I really need those missiles, so I really, if I really want to win this contested territory, I need those little missiles. Uh, but for now, we can rely on super monkeys and, and apprentices and engineers. That's pretty much going to be very important for me. So I'm going to use, I'm going to rely on, on them. And now we're going to upgrade this monkey sub to 2-2. Two, two. Just because I feel like it. And because it's fun. Upgrade them to 2-2. Two, two. And then we're going to go for another farm uh, real soon. Now those ceramics. I forgot. What are we going to do against ceramics? 
Hmm. Ring of Fire. I'm thinking about the Ring of Fire. Uh, but that's later on. I'm going to keep on farming for now. Yeah, I, I want to keep on farming. I desperately need to farm. And I do have five farms now, so that's going to make it interesting. So let's see. So it's round 11. It's all looking good, guys. I'm really hoping I can be the leader of the contested territory. I really do not want to show you, you guys me failing. But hey, I can, I can get the territory back. Uh, I, I would have to buy those little missiles. The, what is it, the 2-3 monkey sub, the ballistic missiles, I'll have to buy those, and use my balloon stones to get them. But I'm not going to do that, I'd rather use other things. I mean, it's fun to develop other strategies. So, let's go ahead and get the attack shooter upgraded. I think it's, it's in a good ra range right there. And, uh oh. Oh, I can't fit my boomerang anymore. Third tier tech shooter. And then we're going to go for another farm real soon. Yeah, I really wasn't liking that farm spot down there. But I do like the these farm spots right there. So now we have five banana farms. So it's going to be very different now. Very different gameplay that, that you guys have seen. I'm going to upgrade one of them to 2-0. And then we're just going to keep upgrading our defense. Because we don't want to die to ceramics. And, yeah, we really don't want to die to ceramics, guys. We don't. I don't know about you guys, but I don't. Uh, another great tower for ceramics would be the, the glue gunner. So we made it to round 13. We got a supply crate. So we have an event going on right now, and that's, that's good. That's, that's, that's very great that we have an event going on. Uh, we'll do a glue gunner. That'll help out with the ceramics as well. And, I don't know, I guess the, the Ring of Fire should be down here instead. There we go. That's like a, a better spot for the Ring of Fire, in my opinion. Yeah, this is definitely a better spot for it. Oh, crap, Camel Leads. That's okay. We got an Apprentice! And, oh, that's a lot of freaking Leads and Camo Loons. But, no, we got it. We got it. We got it covered. I really want to get that ring of fire. It's too expensive. 3,000 bucks. And the Moabs are going to start coming out real soon. So I got to prepare for Moabs as well. So I can sell that guy. Oh, we're almost there. Got to get that ring of fire, man. There it is. And we should be just fine now. With the ring of fire on our side. And I'll upgrade the spec factory to. Uh, for one zero, and now we're just gonna keep on farming in the meantime because we do have the ring of fire, and that's gonna help out. So you can see it's freaking OP. You, you just demolish those rainbows like nothing. So then we're gonna get another farm upgraded. Let's get this farm. Bam! There we go. So there we go. This uh, this is very easy right now at the moment. Don't have any challenges? These balloons are very easy at the moment. And wow, that ring of fire did an amazing job. Alright, so then we can get a, a monkey apprentice up there. Put it on strong. In case we have any more camo leads. There we go. And we can start saving up for a dart monkey army. It's going to be very important this gameplay. We'll need a Dark Monkey army. I don't have the Super Monkey fan club yet. And we made it to round 17. That's amazing. We made a, a milestone reward. Okay, so there we go. There's a little mini dart monkey army at the moment. That'll help out against the Moabs. We do have boats as well. We could use boats. I want to get an engineer now. Engineer right there. And a monkey engineer up here, maybe. 
Oh, I cannot do any more engineers. And there we go. We got a, we got that engineer to help out for the Moabs. So can we use? Oh, okay, we could use ice towers. It's gonna be great. Uh, we're gonna get this ice tower over here. Upgraded. Oh, I could afford it now. The Arctic wind. And for Moabs, we can get another monkey sub in the meantime. Put it on strong. So second tier subs. See, so so far we're we were able to destroy those Moabs easily. That was a piece of cake, and we can get a, a glue gunner right here. Put on on close. And I got the that boomerang right there. Upgraded. And we got a glue gunner, a three-two glue gunner. And for more popping power, we can just get more uh, monkey subs at the moment. Yeah, so in the meantime, we can use uh, monkey subs for more popping power. And then we eventually will have to save up for the super monkeys. Still got three more subs. Get this guy. Put on strong. And another one right there. We made it to round 25 already. We got some rewards. The next rewards is at round 30, which I'm pretty sure I can make it to round 30. And I'll sell that guy. It's a lot of freaking bananas. Okay, and now we get this guy, this uh, little village right there. We'll put this guy on strong. The super monkey. Oops, I got the wrong upgrade. That's okay. No, I'm, that's okay for now. Um, there you go. We're trying to get the third tier. The no second tier. The two two super monkey. We do not have uh, third tier super monkeys just yet. Those monkey subs are doing a fantastic job. We're gonna get a a boat. Uh, the two two boat. That those will help out quite nicely. And. We're going to have another super monkey down here. Yeah, right there. So we're just going to save up for another super monkey. <coughs> so, oh, he's over there. I was like, where's the super monkey at? I don't see any super monkeys. Yeah, well, he's over there. So, oh, crap, the Z-O-M-F-N-G. Can we possibly defend a Z-O-M-G? I don't know about this, guys. I don't know about this. It's looking, it's looking pretty easy. No, it looks like we will defend the ZOMG with no problem in round 30. That was freaking amazing. There we go. So the next reward system is at round 40. Not sure if I can make it to round 40. I'm going to do my best, though. Just got to get these uh, super monkeys. Upgrade it. Oh, it looks like I have another monkey boost for free. Now I have two of them. I barely noticed that right now. See, I have two and 50 red hot spikes. Those are free. I do not have to waste any bloomstones on them. Right, we're almost there. Trying to get that uh, super monkey. Oh, we got the plasma. All right, the next thing you want to do is get another ice tower. Right here. Another ice tower would be great and a ring of fire maybe uh, but I need another glue gunner right there let's put it on strong all right so there is the ZOMG it was popped with no freaking problem there we go so we're gonna save up for more defense down here and I do need some jugs I'm gonna need some jugs in this area actually no let's keep it there for now and we'll see how we do we got the glue gunners right there which is pretty easy and we'll start setting up our boats right there zero zero boats and, uh, 
I don't know what else to get. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jugs. We need jugs. I forgot about that. We need juggernauts. I'll do it like the Dart Monkey Army. First strong, first. Yeah. Strong. And first. And we will probably require another spike factory as soon as possible. So, I'm going to see if I can fit another spike factory. Yes, I could. It's very important to have those spack factories. I don't know if I can fit a third one. Okay, so now, now's the chance to sell the farms. I upgraded my spike factory. I'll get the jugs. It's <laughs> great. Let's just get the juggernauts. There we go. Let's see how we do with this. It's a lot of freaking ZOMGs. Oh no. Yeah, it's not looking good, guys. And we died. So hopefully, I gained the territory. Let's find out what happened right now. Let's go ahead and check right now, guys. I do have the territory. Nice. I got the territory now. Uh, let's look at my opponents. There's a little. There's a couple city level twenties down here. Um, we don't know about, like I said, about that round. But uh, I do have the territory at the moment, and we'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. I'm just here trying to see wh where my opponents have made it. This guy made it to 29. This guy's still playing, probably. This guy's still playing. Uh, 33 and 4. So we got two serious threats. These guys are threats for my contested territory, but I don't know if they can make it past round 36. It was a lot of ZOMGs, unless you have those little ballistic missiles. I think the ballistic missiles can help out. And there's not much you can do. I mean, uh, farming... Farming was pretty easy. Uh, the ballistic missiles should be pretty easy. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what other strategies to think of, but that is pretty much it. Um, right here, let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade some. Wow, we got a lot of freaking cash. Nice. Thanks for those rewards. Let's go ahead and upgrade the ballistic missile. A day and 12 hours or 230 balloon stones. I'll probably buy them if I need to. I feel the need or not. I'm really hoping nobody takes the territory, but that's about it. So there you go, guys. I'll see you guys later. This is Gus Chavez saying, make sure you have a great day and peace.